If you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or anything gaming related, check the referral links down in the description. They'll take you to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods already, and with the code CHES at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number three of the Golden Oldies Squad Challenge. This is of course a series we're doing with MGH and Shani Sports. If you want to see their third episode to see how they're getting on in their games this season or if you missed their uh, first game episode then uh, check their channels. Their links will be in the description so you can keep up to date with what's going on in their series. As was the case with the previous series, we're not telling each other how we're getting on. So I'm going to have to go with you to their channels as well to find out how they're getting on to this point. We were pretty close after the uh, the first round of fixes but I will tend to uh, not to refer to either of their series throughout mine other than that first little mention there just to try and save any spoilers in case people are watching mine uh, you know ahead of time watching any of theirs so I don't want to spoil things across uh, you know people's channels etc so if you want to see how they're doing head over to their channels and check them out links like I say, will be in the description down below. But we're having a good start. We will start each episode with a squad report, as I've uh, previously mentioned. So if there was anybody in particular you wanted to have a closer look at, feel free to go back and uh, pause the video at any particular point so you can have a closer look at their individual stats. But we start with an away game at the Berlin ground against West Ham. Now, they're not having the best of seasons so far, but we've had a, an extremely good start, actually. We've won four, drawn one, lost one. So we've got 13 points out of our first six games. And I'd really like to get as many points as we possibly can out of today's episode as well to uh, hopefully stay within the top two or three for the entirety of the season. That's my aim at least. Obviously we want to finish as high as possible anyway to beat Matt and Chani. But uh, I'd, I'd like to really do much better this year than we did in the previous uh, episode, or previous uh, series. Obviously in the Youth Squad Challenge we were slow off the mark and that in the end cost us... Uh, when it came to uh, you know winning the series against Matt or Chani. However, this time we've started very well indeed, so I would like to keep that going. And uh, fingers crossed we can have solid, you know, very, very good results throughout the entire season. West Ham had a couple of early chances, as you saw there, but uh, we had one of our own with Castro there coming in from the uh, left-hand side. Obviously, as you'll have noticed, this is the, uh, the weaker rotation 11 that I'm playing in this one. I did mention in the previous episode that I wanted to kind of, you know, blend the two teams rather than just having a first team 11 and a weaker 11. And I do want to do that only uh, at this particular moment in time, unfortunately. Uh, we uh, had another big game coming up midweek after this one, so I wanted all of my first team players to be fit for that one. But this is the away game, so we're playing the quote-unquote small, well, it is the smaller away game to sim a bigger home game. So I wanted to play with the weaker side here. A, I haven't played with them yet. I've only played with uh, the main first team players. And like I say, B, I wanted to have my best players fit for that uh, game midweek that's upcoming. But we got ourselves a good 1-0 lead there. Not really too sure what the defence was doing. They uh, just kind of hesitated, as did the goalkeeper. And we were able to uh, just slide in and get ourselves a goal. And then the fortune continues to go in our favour. Reyes with a cross, actually, is what that was. Looking for the man at the back post. The defender tries to intercept it. Ends up heading it down into the ground. Textbook attacking header. Head it down into the ground. It beats the keeper. Bounces in front of him. Goes into the top left-hand corner. We've got ourselves a 2-0 lead. I couldn't be happier. 15 minutes from time. Andre is going to try and get us a third. But it takes a couple of the deflections. And before Diego Castro can get it under control at the back post. The defender smashed it clear. And actually I think Castro was offside anyway. So even if he had been able to put it into the back of the net. It wouldn't have counted. However though we were able to get a 2-0 victory so delighted with that but this is the game that I wanted my stronger players to play in Liverpool at home now it is best to sim the away games uh, I mean play the away games and sim the home so that is why I did it this way round but uh, obviously I wanted my stronger players better players available for uh, for this fixture and actually we went 1-0 up after a single minute and then Adam Lalana brought it back as you've seen and then Jordan not Jordan Henderson <laughs> Klaas Jan Huntela uh, scores for us to make it 2-1 and then around about 10 minutes from time or so we're actually going to or 5 minutes from time we're actually going to make it 3-1 with Klaas Jan Huntela picking up a brace so it turns out the uh, the decision I made to uh, you know play the weaker side and then sim the the bigger home game against the larger side works. However, I wasn't about to sim playing Chelsea's, especially considering the state of the league right now. As you can see, two points ahead of them. We're currently top of the BPL, but this is the biggest test this side has faced so far by a big stretch. Thibaut Courtois in goal. They're playing uh, Blanner, playing Branner at right back. Thomas Callas at centre-back alongside Kurt Zuma and Felipe Luis at left-back. No 
well, obviously we've got JT thinking about it, haven't we, for our series. But no Gary Cahill in their starting lineup. No, I haven't got Gary Cahill, obviously, but we do have JT, and I remember that halfway through. But as you can see, strong starting 11 from me. Ashley Cole, of course, former Chelsea player involved in this one. He's my number one left back ahead of Artur Boca. But Diego Costa's going to try and have a header there, but gets knocked back down to Nemanja Matic. Hazard into Matic again. Good save by Claudio Bravo, though, keeps Chelsea out. He's been indispensable for us so far, Claudio Bravo. He's been amazing for me at Barcelona in the uh, the other career mode we have going on on the channel or one of the multiple other career modes we have going on on the channel and uh, unfortunately for me he's injured in that one so I'm hoping that doesn't happen in this one although Beto is a good goalkeeper but we're trying to get ourselves in front here Lichsteiner unfortunately can't pick up the pieces after our, our initial shot was well saved by Thibaut Courtois we are still on the attack though in this first half De Rossi picks it up as it's knocked back to him Gabby gets a brilliant turn in ahead of Matic and another very well struck shot obviously a former Atleti teammate of Courtois Gabby in, uh, from when Courtois was out on loan for two or three seasons a couple of years ago but uh, Eden Hazard's cutting down the left hand side here we're towards the end of the first half now takes a deflection we do initially get it clear but it drops to Sesk into Oscar out to Willie and they're passing it about brilliantly we get a good save in and oh, just as it's about to cross the line Claudio Bravo dives back to stop us from going 1-0 down. In stoppage time, though, Diego Costa and Matic link up. He's clean through here, Costa. A brilliant save again from Bravo, but unfortunately, our luck has run out. It's Willian that rifles it into the back of the net. A, a, kind of an empty net, although he had to get it through two defenders and a recovering Claudio Bravo as well. So actually, it was a more difficult finish than initially you might have thought, but a lovely one too with Branner and Hazard there. Completely caught me out. I didn't expect Branner to uh, play the quick one-two back to Hazard immediately there. I couldn't cope defensively. It was too quick, too uh, fast-paced flowing football. And unfortunately, Hazard beat the goalkeeper at the near post as well. And then Chelsea went into their park-the-bus defensive shell. And we weren't able to create anything else for the rest of the game, unfortunately. So a 2-0 defeat to Chelsea. And then we've already played our one game of the month. So I'm having to sim this game against City. We are at home. Yaya Torre scores after eight minutes to give Manchester City the lead. Not the way we wanted to start this game. We got off on the right foot against Liverpool with a one-minute goal from Iniesta. Unfortunately, though, as we head to half-time, we're still 1-0 down here, hoping for an equaliser sooner rather than later. We're past the hour mark now. We've made a couple of substitutions. There comes the equaliser from Gabby, 20 minutes from time. Barely any time left to go now, and it does end with a 1-1 draw. That's a respectable result. I'm happy with that. A one-all draw against Manchester City is good, especially considering they took the lead early on. We could have crumbled there, but we didn't. We defended Rosalny and got ourselves back in it. Now, Newcastle away. Obviously, like we say, we're only allowed to play one game per episode. I tend to sim the home games, but I had the choice of playing Chelsea or playing Newcastle. Obviously, you want to play Chelsea to get the best result possible. It just turned out that we couldn't get the best result possible. And actually, as we head into the second half here, it doesn't look like we're going to get the best result possible against Newcastle either. They're 2-1 up with 10 minutes to go. Denisov and Inle picking up bookings and we are going to lose to uh, Newcastle. So that's our third defeat of the season. So back to uh, a home game again for the final game of today's episode against Leicester. Uh, not a goal initially. It's a yellow card and then an injury for Ashley Cole again. That's the third time he's picked up an injury so far this season. Ashley Cole is just an absolute liability at left back at the minute. Gabby though is scoring goals as is Iniesta as is Klaas Jan Huntelaar. However, it's still 2-0 here with 20 minutes to go. Can Klaas Jan Huntelaar get himself onto the score seat as well? No, he cannot. 2-0 is the final scoreline, but we will take a victory. That's three points nonetheless. A confirmation that, uh, unfortunately, Ashley Cole is going to be out for two months. He did previously miss three weeks, but there was an international break, so we didn't really feel the effects of it too much. But Arta Boca is going to have himself run ragged by the time that uh, Ashley Cole comes back because the fixtures come uh, more frequently as we head into December and January and it's going to be a real issue for me at left back losing Ashley Cole for the entirety of that period but we are still second in the table on 26 points our goal difference is better than the two sides below us who are on equal points and it's uh, three sides below us sorry on it no two sides we're the uh, idiot chess we're the, the side that's in second so better than the two sides that are down there below us and uh, I Luckily for me, better than Chelsea above us as well, despite losing to them. So should we be able to get ourselves back on level points with Chelsea, as long as we at least match their results, we will be able to go top. 
That is, of course, if Manchester City or Spurs don't overtake either of us. But fingers crossed we can continue to get some good results. I'm pleased with how things are going so far. We're definitely doing better in this series than we were in the one with Wolves with the youth squad challenge. So hopefully that can continue. We'll have a squad report, like I say, at the beginning of the next episode as well to see how people are going up to this point. I've had a few people start to drop in uh, individual stats, which is a shame, but to be expected with the elder players. So that's the added challenge here. Before it was to, you know, maximise the growth from the squad and get results. Here it's get the results and try and maintain the stats and performance of the older players in the game. But for now, that's going to bring today's episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days. There was, of course, two videos uploaded earlier on today. There'll be another one uploaded later on tonight and a stream. But for now, I'll see you next time.